So what exactly is a genius? And do we all have a little bit of genius in us? If you were to ask me, I would say we do. But it's about us being able to identify what that genius is. Now, because we all have been born with something unique and special about us. But do we know what that is? So let's break it down. What is genius anyways? I think genius is somebody that has a high intellectual capacity and a high creative capacity in a particular area. And it's so high in that particular area that they are so far from the next person. That's what makes them a genius because there's not many, if anybody, on their level within that particular area because they, they understand it on a whole nother level. They understand that particular art. They understand that sp specific area on a whole nother level than anybody else. That's what makes them a genius. So it's a mix of intellectual and creative capacity within a, a specific area or a specific art. If you were to ask Einstein, Einstein understands equations. He understands numbers. He's a mathematician, but he didn't just stop at being great at solving equations. He took it to the next level. He spent all his time trying to solve equations. He spent most of his time working with numbers. So because he did all of that, because he involved his, himself so much into numbers, He's one of our leaders on the understanding of time and space. So his gift was numbers, understanding numbers. But to become a genius, he put in the time and the effort to take that gift to the next level. That's what made him a genius. Not because of him having a high IQ score, or him being able to regurgitate information and to be able to take a test. See, if you know anything about Einstein, he actually struggled in school. But if you were to look at society today, they like to equate um, genius to somebody that's good at taking tests or somebody who can um, read and comprehend, you know, somebody who can regurgitate that information, replay it back to them to say that, okay, you understood what I taught. That identifies somebody as a genius if you were to, add, if you were to go by society's um, terms or society's definition of a genius. But to me, a genius is somebody who has taken their God-given abilities, what makes the, the little thing that makes them super unique, that they do better than most other people and they expound on it. They take it to the next level. LeBron's a great basketball player. Yes, he's built for basketball. He has the side and he, size and he has the speed, but he didn't just stop there because that's unfulfilled talent. That's unfulfilled abilities. And we see that all the time where people have so much potential, but they never like, they never maximize it. They never take it to the next level. They never take their genius to the next level. But he did. So not only him being born with, you know, a rare genetic build to where he's 6'9", 260 and can run like somebody who's six foot. He took time and he studied the game. He put effort into his genius. So he wasn't just OK with the God given ability of, um, you know, being six foot nine and 260 and can run like a gazelle. He took it to the next level. He studied the game. He tried to understand the game. He put the time and the effort into his genius. He maximized his potential to where now he's one of the greatest players to ever play basketball. Now we all have that genius, but do we maximize our genius? We all have something that we do better than the next person, or we have something that comes easy to us to where other people are like, man, how did you do that? We all have a little uniqueness about us, a little specialty about us that we know how to do something that comes easy to us, but we all don't maximize our potential in that gift. 
But when you do maximize your potential in that gift and you take it to the next level and you, you put most of your time, and your energy into that God given gift, that's when you separate yourself from everybody else in the field. And that's what makes you a genius. So Kanye isn't the most intellectual person in this world, but he understands music because that was his gift to understand rhythms, to be able to put samples and rhythms together to where they're cohesive and they sound good. They sound pleasant to the ear. That's his gift. And, you know, when he realized that that's his gift, he put all his energy into maximizing that gift. And because he did that, he's one of the greatest producers out there. He's known as being a genius in music because he took his God given gift and he expounded on it. And because he did that, it separated himself from everybody else in that field. Everybody else that's producing music, they don't compete. So it's about understanding what your gifts are. It's about understanding what you're good at, what you have talent in and maximizing that potential. That's what creates a genius. And I like looking at genius in that that way because it's more obtainable versus somebody saying, well, you're not good at reading these paragraphs and uh, being able to take this test. You can't be a genius. It's, that's more defeating because not everybody can put the concentration into reading something and test um, taking a test on it. Not everybody has good test taking skills. And so if I can break down genius into something that you already have, but it's about you maximizing it, that gives you more hope. That gives you more, um, more understanding that, look, I'm already great. Understanding that you're already great, but how can I take this to the next level? I do this better than everybody else, but how can I be the best ever? That's how you become a genius. So we all need to uh, take the time to look inward, to understand what our God given ability is. And if you don't think it's God given, then whatever unique skill that you have that you do easier than most people or you do easier than the next person, figuring out what that is and going hard with it. And potentially what? Trying to make money off of it. You know, I'm good at speaking. I'm good at breaking things down in a way that other people understand. My ability to communicate something, I feel like is better than most people. So what do I do? I try to take that to the next level. I try to create a platform to where I give information out. I break things down in a way that the next person can understand in the hopes that it'll have an effect on their life. It'll help them see something differently. I had a tutor in college um, in a math class called Finite. The teacher was horrible. He was a mathematician, but he didn't relay information in a way that was understandable. But anytime I connected with my tutor, who also shared the same name as me, he made things understandable to me. Like I understood it when he taught it because he delivered it in a way that I can understand. So that's what I do with particular types of information, um, financial literacy. I break things down in a way that you can understand, you know, so it's understanding what you're good at and taking it to the next level, what you're already good at, what you're already blessed in the talents you already have and taking that to the next level. So I want us to just spend the time to learn more about ourselves, to be more inward. Cause I'm always inward. I'm always breaking myself down and trying to understand my myself more. So that's a, a, a habit, a thing that we all should be doing to ourselves in order to, you know, reach success in some way or another. But I thank you guys for checking this video out and I will be back with more as usual. Um, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.